Agents, what's going on? Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. This video is going to be strictly how to prepare for TU10. Uh, there actually is quite a few things you guys need to take note of and do this weekend. Uh, but before we get into this uh, video, I'm going to try my best to keep it as short and sweet as possible. Uh, but before we get into this video, the patch notes... Okay, well, the 16th of June is when TU10 drops, which is on Tuesday. Okay, the patch notes uh, are only being released on Monday. So we, it is impossible for me to know what is going to be good, what is going to be bad. I can tell you guys to farm the rock and roll shotgun now all weekend because it's going to be the strongest gun. And then on Monday, they decide to nerf it and it becomes trash in the patch notes for TU-10. So remember, this is all subject to change. But generally in the past, after the last phase of the PTS, it stays this, uh, pretty much the same. Not much changes because otherwise they would just need a phase three, uh, four of the PTS. So they haven't decided to go for phase four. So I believe this should be the final notes or you know what I've been testing in phase three should be the final outcome. But we're going to have to wait and see. I will be streaming on Twitch and everything. Link will be in description to make sure to go and follow me there. So let's get into this. So the first thing we need to talk about is the most important thing in my opinion is the Bighorn assault rifle that gun uh okay if you guys aren't aware and you didn't watch my live stream uh it is still a vod on my twitch channel you can go and have a look i went through all of it in detail uh, it is there so what happened was uh, the patch notes you need to go and read them if you guys are not aware go and read i went through every single part of the patch notes in the stream uh it's very important to note the damage from headshots the stacking of headshots on the bighorn has been doubled it has been doubled. It used to be 1%. It is 2%. You can hit a million damage a shot with the fully automatic mode on the Bighorn. It is ridiculous. You can hit 3 million a shot with the selective fire. And that wasn't even specking into a full headshot build. So the Bighorn is something you need to go and farm for this weekend. I am doing it myself. I'm going to be probably streaming it this weekend as well. I need to get it. It's so powerful. Make sure to pick it up. I hope they don't nerf it on Monday because that gun is going to be so, so strong. It, not very good in the live game now, but make sure you guys go and do legendary missions. I recommend Roosevelt Island is probably the quickest and easiest. You can literally just throw turrets, make a glass cannon tech support, hardwired turret build orth, or Hana Yu, Murakami, whatever with Wyvern doesn't matter throw your turrets go there with dps rifle you know most people abuse the m1a with focus that's the best way to do it it's easy to do legendaries with that build go and do it hopefully you can try get the big horn i need to get it i'm jealous of people who have it it is going to be so so strong all right so uh let's get into uh, the next part so weapon handling is something that i made a video i made an entire video about weapon handling make sure you guys go and you farm weapon handling rolls on your gear now it, if you can see here, my Providence chess piece has got 12.5% weapon handling. Now, that little triangle, you see this little triangle here? That tells me that in my library, I have got the max roll for weapon handling. Weapon handling is going to be so, so good. Why is that? Because the Chameleon Exotic Assault Rifle is one of the best weapons in the game, but the accuracy is terrible. Weapon handling gives you reload speed, swap speed, accuracy, and stability now in TU-10, which means it's it's going to be really strong. The developers even nerfed mods on guns that gave you weapon handling. That's how strong weapon handling is. You will be able to laser beam with any gun. LMGs are the biggest uh, changes. LMGs with weapon handling is incredible. I did showcase it in that video. Uh, I have gone over that before. But make sure you go and farm weapon handling rolls because that is something that I can tell you guys right now. Rolling headshot damage and weapon handling on everything is going to be one of the strongest combinations because it's so easy to hit headshots because of weapon handling. There's no recoil and it's just crazy, crazy good. Especially if you want to use well, guns like the Chameleon, which has very terrible accuracy. So once you've done that, once you've gotten all your weapon handling uh, rolls up in the, the library, then you'll be good to go and you're ready for TU-10 to roll all those juicy weapon handling rolls on your gear. Um, so the raid is coming out in early July. We don't even know the the, the state of the game was in shambles. It was a mess. They they muted their mics. They didn't even know what was in front of them. It was actually quite embarrassing, if I'm honest. Uh, that's why I didn't really want to make a video about it because it was all just negativity, and you guys know me, I don't like that. Uh, but make sure to get a team ready for the raid. 
the new foundry raid is coming out uh, you will only be able to get the new uh, very strong bulwark set from the raid so just remember that and the regulus pistol which is really good so that will only be available in the beginning of july so it's not something that we need to worry about right now uh, but yeah season uh, two comes out in on july uh, no sorry june 23rd i think that's going to be like a week after tu10 drops so the next thing i want to go over is ceramics now ceramics are, is something that you really do need when you're re-rolling gear so if you come over here uh, we're going to be getting quite a few gear sets and new pieces whenever you re-roll something let's say i want to go over here and i want to re-roll my headshot damage now when you when you come over here guys if you have a look uh if you want to do it it costs you almost 70 ceramics and i'm always low on ceramics i mean it's also electronics so credits ceramics and electronics you need to go and farm them a good way to farm them is to do landmarks in the dark zone another good way to do it is to actually come over here uh fast travel to the shop safe house all right run directly west go here you see this you run underground in this place right here and you will find lots of boxes which give you ceramics and electronics go and do that it's a very very efficient way and i'd literally do that run once a day and then you come over here to the um there is a solar farm which is a control point come here and run there are so many boxes this control point has so many electronics and ceramics there it's actually unbelievable you could get about 500 ceramics just from that area there so once you've done that once you've stacked ceramics and electronics you're ready to reroll your gear in tu10 all right so the next thing we're going to go over is a incoming repairs which is a big issue and it actually is ruining my main build okay so if you guys know me i kind of i think i i uh may i think i'm kind of made incoming repairs popular amongst the community with my wolf king build i brought out uh, like 80 something percent incoming repairs with clutch and you can stay alive and go through an entire mission without even stopping firing and healing or nothing you can just constantly shoot enemies on heroic or challenging or whatever it's really strong incoming repairs is getting completely destroyed it is gone uh what if you guys didn't know let me just quickly summarize it armor kits uh clutch for example uh anything that gives you armor so clutch unbreakable all that stuff uh if you stack incoming repairs which is a blue mod or it's just a stat which you can also get on uh, gear pieces by the way the two piece 511 is now 20 percent and the one piece rnk from 15 percent incoming repairs to 20 percent is getting nerfed it no longer applies to your gear or your armor kits it only applies to healing skills so the more incoming repairs you stack into you 10 it just increases the amount of healing you get from your healing skills which ruins all the other things so clutch builds are going to be not as strong i would not recommend get delving into clutch builds too much um so what you need to do now is so for example if i was using clutch or whatever or else because i have got incoming repairs on this build here you need to adjust your build so when tu10 drops you're not suffering i got 51 percent incoming repairs what i would do is i would swap away uh two two blues and go for two yellows all right and then use healing skills so i can keep myself alive and you should be able to heal pretty well so just try and adapt your build put more repair skills on top of what you have already don't roll uh too much incoming repairs like also here what you could do is instead of having 511 mask maybe put sockel of concern mask so you could put crit damage mod instead of a blue mod slot which normally you would put incoming repairs so just try and spec your build towards uh, healing yourself with your own personal skills that would be the best way to counteract this nerf so let's move on to uh, the next part which i want to try get this done quickly the lady death is going to be absolutely insane in the next update this gun right here is going to be ridiculously good and i've got one right here you guys need to make sure you go and farm this uh this gun has the same base damage as the well now in the live game the strongest smg in the game it has the same the spr nine millimeter tactical vector right i've got it actually here this gun has the same uh so as you can see the vector 69k lady death 61 it goes par with the vector and when you get the stacks it out dps's any smg in the game uh, but obviously it's got a small mag and all that but make sure you go and farm this go to new york farm the, the open world bosses that's the best way to get it and also another note make sure to get the rock and roll shotgun the rock and roll shotgun is a drum shotgun and it is one of the strongest guns in tu10 from what i tested i think i actually have one in my stash right here make sure to go and farm it it is a beast this this is it right here with perfectly extra 
It is an absolute savage. It does so much damage. I think the damage has gone up to like 300k with this. You can stack and you can do so much damage, especially with Striker. Because Striker has been fixed, you can actually stack your damage from Striker. It works unbelievably well. Other guns I need to mention, which you guys need to go and farm, is the MPX SMG. I think I've got one right here. The MPX SMG and the UMP, the tactical UMP and the MPX are going to be very very strong in TU10. There is a uh, named weapon which is an MPX variant that gives you perfectly measured. I got the most DPS out of any gun from the that I don't know what it's called. Let me know in the comments what it's called again. It's got perfectly measured. I think it's an MPX. It's the the damage was absolutely it was it was insane. So definitely go and farm these weapons and you guys want to know something you know the ravenous you know the merciless you're probably wondering okay yeah what about it uh that it, those two are not the best rifles in the game you're probably thinking oh the m1a nah do you guys want to know what in my opinion the, the best uh rifle in the entire game in tu10 is this might surprise you okay it's no it's not the mk17 i know you're probably thinking it it is this absolute beast i think i've got it on me here this absolute gem of a weapon is has been buffed so much in tu10 it is a joke uh the usc make sure to go and farm this rifle the damage and the d the, the rpm and the damage is so high uh it rips you can destroy heroic npcs in a matter of like two three seconds with this weapon go and farm this this i think is going to be the best rifle in the game for pvp especially probably not it's not really good from longer ranges but you can spam some shots especially with weapon handling we can make this a beast so definitely farm this weapon go and get it don't just deconstruct or sell them because right now it's not very good but in tu10 is a gem so go and save this weapon credits sell your gear get dz credits go in the dark zone farm gear in the dark zones occupied whatever go to the dark zone get gear deconstruct it in your bag extract it get dz credits because vendors in general are getting buffed in tu10 we're going to be able to buy better items who knows when the you know some of the new matador backpacks and all, all the new guns the mechanical animal might be on sale at the vendor so get your credits up get your dz credits up and do that and make sure you guys do that uh, the last thing i want to talk about is this is something very interesting i don't want to spoil it but one of the strongest combinations if you guys did watch my live streams lady death okay and you guys need to go and get this holster right here. If you don't have it, go and farm this holster. It is really, really strong in TU10. The claws out. 10% pistol damage and 500% melee damage. Melee damage is making a very big comeback. I could hit 1.1 million a shot with one melee in PvP. In PvP. You can two-shot players in the dark zone. So make sure you get this holster, agents. So I just wanted to keep that nice and short and sweet for you guys. I know I might have went overboard with explanations. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell. And I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Hope, I'm looking forward to TU10. Let me know in the comments if you guys are. Peace out, agents.